In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side mirror located on the top side of your driver's door. This fits 2005 through 2010 Chrysler 300. On the inside of the driver's door handle right here, if you pull this out, there's a little plastic cap right here. We're going to use our pick, just go into the top of it and go ahead and just work that cover out. Once that's open, you're going to find a Phillips head screw right there. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove that. Across the bottom of the door panel, you're going to find three Phillips head screws. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove those. Once you have those three out across the bottom, if you follow it right up around the front side of the door, there's one more up here. You want to go ahead and loosen and remove that. Now right on the side here, there's going to be two plastic push pins here. You want to go ahead and just press in on the center of these here. With that release, go ahead and use your trim tool. Come around behind the door panel. And pop those buttons out. Pop those buttons out and just set them aside. Next, you want to grab the door panel and we're going to gently pull it up and away. Now, as we separate this here, I'm going to come around to the other side, and there is a door handle rod right here. You want to go ahead and push this little clip off towards the door. Lift that rod up and away. And on the back side of the mirror here, we have our plastic trim. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift up this seal right here. We're going to use our trim here. Just pry this up gently. We're going to work this up and just kind of peel it up off of the pinch weld here. What we're going to do next is we're going to grab this trim. We're going to pull it this way. I'm going to dislodge it off of the pillar here and simply slide this down. This is going to allow us to access the back side of the mirror here. On the back side, we have our plastic connector. I'm going to use our pick, press down on the back side of this. Go ahead and work that connector out of the back side of the mirror. We can also use our trim tool here to assist us. A little bit of leeway there. Once that's out, use your eight millimeter socket to go ahead, loosen and remove these nuts. Now on our third nut here, you want to go ahead and support the outside of the mirror. At this point here, you can go ahead and gently wiggle that mirror around. And we're going to pull it out from the front side. Okay, and just gently tug up on that and slide that out. So if you have a little bit of an issue popping the mirror out, it's because the bottom side of the mirror fits right down inside, made it up against the seal. 
I'm going to go ahead and line up your mirror studs with the holes in the door. Get that bottom pressed in, push that mirror on. Let's go on the other side. Let's go ahead and install the three nuts. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. Just want to go ahead and make sure those are nice and snug. Install that connector. Press in a little button for the retainer. You also want to make sure that when you're installing your new mirror that the connector matches up to the mirror connector itself, matching up the amount of pins that are on the harness to the pins that are on the mirror. Make sure you have the right mirror. I'm going to go ahead and start pressing our trim back up into place. So press this up over that lip. We can bring our rubber seal back down and press this down into place. We want to go ahead and get our actuator rod hooked up on the back of the handle. And let's go ahead and hang the door. Once we have that door panel pressed down and in, let's go ahead and install the screw up by the handle and the three across the bottom. that little button in on the top. And then we'll install our last screw. It's on the front side. Let's go ahead and put the center in, push it in, lock it in. I'm going to do the same for the gray one here. We're going to pop out the center. Go ahead and line this up. And press in the center, lock it in. Now, if your particular vehicle had one down below here, you want to go ahead and do the same there. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side of the door panel. At this point here, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.